Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. If you hear a slight buzzing in the background, I have a fan just off camera keeping me cool because my balls is hot and I'm starting to perspire profusely. So just get a little bit of just, just bear with me here. We might be doing this for a few months unless we move inside, but it is what it is. It's hot. And we're going to be drinking cash strength whiskey outside in Texas. This is Poor Soldier Bourbon Whiskey. Uh, did I say that right? What am I? Yeah. Barrel Strength Bourbon Whiskey. Bottled at 117.7 proof, 58.85. Um, this was apparently signed by one of the gentlemen who started this company. Uh, Will something maybe? Will Sims? I don't know. Anyway, uh, this is Horse Soldier. Cast drink, bourbon whiskey. Uh, we tried this on the podcast here recently and Curtis was kind enough to loan this to me. And you can go check that episode out. Uh, if you like, if you so choose to. Uh, it says, the United States of America was forged by pioneers, bold trailblazers, explorers, and warriors. In the American spirit of adventure, we proudly present Horse Soldier Bourbon Whiskey. Horse Soldier Bourbon Whiskey is uniquely complex and aged in charred New American oak barrels. I mean, that's pretty standard. Every bottle of Horse Soldier Bourbon Whiskey is a piece of American history. It is carefully crafted by Green Berets, Green Berets, who answered America's call just days after 9-11, with a daring insertion, insertion, I made a few daring insertions myself, uh, into northern Afghanistan on horseback. They made, they made a movie about that, so I think uh, Thor was in it. Uh, this brave and unconventional act earned them the moniker, the Horse Soldiers. At least they weren't the Buffalo Soldiers. Anyway, uh, but that would be cooler to ride the Buffalo into battle than a horse. But I don't think that's why they called them the Buffalo Soldiers. Anyway, handmade and bottled by American Freedom Distillery in Columbus, Ohio. So... As we all know, and we had a discussion on a recent video, and I believe it was the video, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to say the name of the person, I mean there was really no argument, it was just a discussion uh, about bottles, if you read the label, it will tell you certain things, it will tell you, and it will not tell you certain things. For instance, I got a bottle of Balconis. Right here, Balconis is a very small distillery. It's only been around for 10 years. On the back, it says distilled and bottled by Balconis Distilling, Waco, Texas. Here's another example. <sighs> Wild Turkey 101. Distilled and bottled by Wild Turkey Distilling Company. So, I could go through, I've got several different bottles here. Uh, the bottle in question, and this is a different video, was the Blue Notes cast strength, I believe. Uh, and it said it was produced by whatever the Blue Note distilling, I don't, I don't remember the name of the distilling company, but when you read these labels, the words, the way I've learned everything, the words on the label are very specific. To what's in the bottle so if to me if I was a distiller if I owned a distillery I would want to put distilled and bottled by yours truly on the bottle instead of handmade and bottled by American Freedom Distillery so that's a big difference handmade and bottled 
And it was bottled, so like they put it on the bottle. It's on the label. It's on the label. Per the United States government, it has to be true. So, it is handmade and bottled, but it does not say distilled by. So, I don't know why anybody would not want to put distilled by their company on the bottle. So this bottle itself is roughly 90 something degrees at the moment because it's been sitting out here on the porch. So we should get some extra flavors out of it. A little, little, little punchy on the nose. I don't even think it has a, it doesn't even have an age statement on it. So, there's several things we can take from this. There's no age statement on the back. It says, Barrel strength bourbon whiskey on the front. Uh, so that could mean a couple things. Since there is no age statement, we have to automatically assume it's older than four years. Because at one time, and I don't, I haven't looked at the law books recently, a uh, year, couple years ago, if it was younger than four years old, it had to state it somewhere on the bottle. I'm going to grab this Balconis again. For example, aged at least 33 months. So, right there on the back. Can't see it. Aged at least 33 months. So if it's younger, it's either three or four years. I don't remember. I believe it's four years, but if it's younger than four years, it has to state it on the bottle if it is a bourbon. Now it doesn't say straight bourbon, so that right there is a little confusing. Could be blends of different age statements, uh, but I would assume that all of them were over four years old. Anyway, I've rambled on enough. Very, very sharp and punchy. It's spicy on the palate. Um, do feel like it's a young whiskey. Don't know how old it is, obviously. Uh, so there's, there's a, it's a confusing, confusing label to me, but I think it's got a good start. It very well could be an MGP bourbon, uh, so I don't know, but I think for the price point, I would opt for something else, but if you're a fan of the story, uh, the marketing, the packaging, it is marketing. It may be a true story, but still part of their marketing. I mean, if it's... If it wasn't, they wouldn't call it horse soldier bourbon. They wouldn't try to use their <clears throat> heroism or whatever you want to call it to try to sell whiskey. They even make a fucking movie. So. Yeah, it's very kicks you in the back of the throat pretty hot the flavors once it calms down a little bit I bet maybe with a cube of ice it would calm it down enough and be more enjoyable but as it is right now I personally will probably never buy a bottle of this uh, just off of now if, if things change on the label maybe if they say who it's distilled by or the region it's distilled in. And you'll see a lot of bottles that say distilled in Indiana. You can pretty much assume those are MGP bourbons. Or if they come out with a Kentucky straight bourbon, 
and I mean it all depends I'm not gonna say never never say never but if if I come across it again in the store and the label still reads the same I probably won't purchase it um, I like me personally I like more uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, more transparency from the bottler or distiller so. yeah I mean I'm, it's okay yeah I feel like it's just a little on the young side it sounds so weird anyway hopefully here in the next couple weeks uh, get to go back over to Wesley's house he was able to pick up the Heaven Hill 17 year. Yeah. I think we'll have to do, definitely have to do a one off video, but I still have Eagle Rare 17 and Wild Turkey 17, one, uh, the 17 bottle and bond. I'd like to do a blind, because I think the Heaven Hill 17 year is about 110 proof or more he told me no i think it's like 118 it's it's a high proofed high proofed high age statement bourbon so that's pretty cool and the eagle rare 17 and the wild turkey 17 well wild turkey 17 is 100 proof eagle rare 17 is 101 so i think it'd be a good comparison but anyway we'll try to get that one set up well, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Check the description below for all the ways to help out with bills around the house. Like the video, subscribe, share with your friends. Hit the bell for notifications. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Check out the Bearded Idiots if you can. Go listen to some old uh, episodes. We'll get back to recording hopefully by the end of the summer. That's what we're shooting for. We kind of wanted to take a summer off for a little while, but we were doing it for four years straight. Pretty hard and heavy. So I think we needed a break, maybe a mental break. Sometimes it's hard to, hard to find shit to talk about. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey and share it with your friends and family, like Curtis did. Uh, don't drink and drive. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.